Hey guys, welcome to my animal chit chat vlog. Today I will be talking about something very close to my heart and that is ladybirds. Now I've already done a ladybird life cycle and I've already done um, the ladybird care but I haven't done larvae care yet because I've been struggling to hatch any ladybirds. Now the reason why I found out why some of them are infertile eggs is the fact that ladybirds lay a cluster of infertile eggs as well as fertile eggs so the eggs that hatch get extra food just in case the food plant they lay on don't have enough aphids on so they eat the eggs that are unfertile which is really interesting actually because i was i was fretting and i was i was upset and but now i have some larvae now i'm just going to go through some basic larvae care it's not going to be very long um it's you know it's just sort of it's fairly easy you just got to watch out um watch them really so i've got a little tub here and basically you will think it's not a suitable enclosure it is for the moment because they are so tiny and the reason why they don't have holes in the lid is because they're so tiny they can fit through any hole so what i do is i lift the i i, I do this every so often every few hours um, I just lift the lid off and sort of let open the window so they can have some air. So then air stored in there for a few hours and then I just repeat that. Because otherwise, if you put holes in there, they're going to escape. Trust me, because um, even in my nets, so you've seen my pop-up nets, they've got really small holes. Um, I did hatch some a long time ago and unfortunately they escaped because they're tiny. Absolutely tiny. Um, so I'm just going to go through the basic care of what you need to do. It's It's very simple, but I thought I'd talk about it um so i've got about six in here um i can't see a lot of them because they're so tiny um i will try and put it up to the camera to show you so what i have got here is i have a tub and i have some food plants and a bit of tissue and that's all you really need a pot and some tissue and make sure that it doesn't have any really small holes um and put a label on it so you don't forget what it is or what it is not um and they basically eat aphids as well so it's not <laughs> you don't really need to worry about what they eat um so i will try and show you one so this is what they look like they're very that tiny black splodge there they're so tiny the camera's not even picking it up but yeah um there's one there on the back as well they are very funny things and if you see them on your um plants and stuff that's pretty good that means you're going to have some ladybirds um you know just don't squish them because you don't really know you know they are fantastic um you'll probably see some photos on my instagram but basically i just wanted to go through a you know a quick care video um you know just sort of make sure they're comfortable put some tissue in there um, they do get most of their liquid from the insects from the aphids so um you know um that's okay but i put little balls of um water not water um little balls of um tissue and wet it and then they can drink from there if they want as well and then just sort of some, some food plants for them to sit on and eat and then i've got the tissue in there of course and i will i will clean it every one to three days maybe one to two days if possible because it gets very messy now this is the complicated part i know i said there wasn't any complicated parts but that was a lie <laughs> so when oh that's my paintbrush never mind i don't have it but when lifting them out don't lift them with your fingers don't ever touch larvae with your fingers because they are so delicate and it's so important you don't touch them physically with your fingers you can use a bit of tissue to pick them up so just slowly sort of prod them can i do it with this one or if, if they're on a leaf actually even better because then you can just sort of um Put them down plop them up and put them down i'm not going to do it but um you just sort of use the tissue to let's see let's see if we can find a single one i will try and show you but i don't they are very delicate and i don't really want to disturb them oh, okay so you can't really see but i would use a bit of tissue yeah, I'm going to just explain. Um, I don't want to damage them They're at the stage where they are so tiny and they just sort of need to be left alone. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, 
sorry, I just wait a minute. I'm gonna make sure that Okay, sorry, where was I? Um, you can pick them up sort of gently by just sort of not pushing them exactly, but prodding them a little bit with the tissue. And as you slowly work, walk onto the tissue, it's soft, it won't hurt them. Just make sure you don't do it like this. Don't go like that because you will squash them. Just gently ease them onto it. Don't, not, don't use your fingers. Just use a bit of tissue and guide them onto another bit of tissue if you're struggling with that method. Just, yeah. So you can do it singly, you can push it and then walk onto it. Or you can use another tissue to sort of slowly push them on. Or a, a paintbrush is really good. So I use the soft. I'd use the soft bit of the paintbrush um, because the hard one would definitely squish them. So I just sort of lift it up with the paintbrush and put the paintbrush in and let them walk off. Um, the one thing about that is if the paintbrush end is black, it's quite hard to see them. So I would use a magnifying glass so this is like my miniature one which i absolutely love um it's so handy because i can actually see them this way um so yeah if you don't have a magnifying glass they, they can come quite cheap on ebay um but yeah they are sweet little things these larvae and this was only a quick video quick hair video just to sort of guide you through um so they do eat aphids and they eat a lot of aphids just like ladybirds do um, and you've just got to be very gentle with them and very patient um, and then it will be in the pupae stage. Mine are growing quite quickly, um, but um, yeah, I don't know. You've got to just be patient and you sort of be understanding that some will die um, because this is a process. Um, as I, I always talk about our selection, um, they lay so many because through these stages they don't always survive. So yeah um thank you for listening and i know it's been short but if you have any questions please um comment in the section below if you want to see more of my insect stuff if you haven't followed my instagram yet it's at animal chit chat 97 and if you want to learn more about ladybirds or any other insects please go to my website www.animalchitchat.com sorry it's animal chit c it wouldn't let me have the chat so it's animal, sorry, www.animalchitsea.com. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.